So I live in North Dakota. Our winters are cold and you really can't do much outside between the months of December and March, maybe even longer. So a clear problem for people who live in cold climates like this and just train in their garage and only have a squat rack and a barbell, don't have a treadmill, don't have a bike. What's an effective way to get conditioning done? Now, obviously there's a lot of ways to get a cardiovascular response only using weights, but most methods of conditioning using weights can get you really sore because typically, even though the weight's light, you're doing a lot of reps with not a lot of rest time. It's really easy to just resort to the contralateral circuit that Cal Dietz has popularized or just doing other circuits like a Tabata type thing, those things can get really boring and monotonous and the effort level can quickly drop to the point that you don't get anything out of it. But what can be a really effective means to conditioning if you're limited to just your squat rack and a barbell is complexes. Just look up the Javork complex. These complexes are great for conditioning as they can be done every day if you want. They don't really induce much soreness. They're great for just practicing technique. They can be done before or after a training session or as a warm up, a separate day or an off day. They're very easy to build into any training schedule and you can combine so many different movements together. So it's really easy to avoid the monotony. This is just one example right here of a Javoric or a barbell complex. Typically when doing these, what I would recommend is a series of four to six total exercises for about six to eight reps per exercise. Perform all of the exercises consecutively without any rest. So you complete the entire thing. Your heart rate will skyrocket. Your respiration rate will skyrocket. Rest until you get your breath back and your heart rate comes back down and do a total of two to three sets. These are very underrated as a means of conditioning. So hopefully that information helps. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.